Sex, sexuality, and gender are really at the core of who we are as a species. There's something we read about, write about, talk about, and they intersect with all aspects of our lives. And contemporary and historical sexuality and gender studies really help us understand the other societies and cultures that we live and deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Archives of Sexuality and Gender really focuses on diversity and inclusivity within gender and sexuality studies with international perspectives on LGBTQ activism and culture, I really wanted to look outside of North America and Europe. And the idea behind the archive is really to present material from areas of the world that don't generally get a lot of coverage and act as a springboard for research and for new narratives. And above all, of course, I want to preserve queer history and ensure that it isn't erased. It's really about bringing new perspectives to research. I focused on Southern Africa and Australia as I wanted to present material specifically about those regions and really document their culture, their activism, their volunteerism, uh, their history. The archive will allow libraries to preserve and present cultural history that's sometimes hidden and provide researchers opportunities to study new and interesting aspects of our global society. International perspectives on LGBTQ activism and culture is unique in that the collections are variously ephemeral, uh, rare, never before digitized, or in the case of the Australian lesbian and gay periodicals, uh, uh, never presented digitally in such a substantial and comprehensive collection. The gala materials alone uh, preserve and present the rich community history of LGBTQ people in Southern Africa, uh, something that other archives only touch on briefly, if at all. And the collections from the Lesbian Her Story archives uh, bear witness to the organizations uh, that fought for equal rights for women everywhere, uh, as well as document the development of global cultural identities of lesbians everywhere. And that's really the unique value of this archive.